Hey everybody, my name's Andy. This is my first video on my car. Quick walk through the garage maybe. Uh, it is currently the end of February here in Canada. It is cold out, well cold. In American terms, it's 20 degrees out roughly. In Canadian, it's, I don't know, minus 50, minus 10, somewhere around there. Cold enough anyway. It's not weather to drive our cars. Um, anyway, I'm gonna give a quick tour of my car short shot of the garage show you what I'm working with here and a couple things I have planned for the car all right turn the video around here so this is my 06 e55 m113k we all know the story we all know the car uh, panel roof has keyless go she's got 84,000 miles on her 140 odd thousand kilometers roughly it is an American car in Canada you could not get these cars with the Alcantara headliner so in the States you could and this one was originally titled in California I bought the car just about two years ago I haven't really had to do anything to it since then I've had to replace a headlight ballast and oh the plugs i replaced the plugs because you don't know what kind of state those are in and all the fluids so quick tour around as you could tell it's in pretty good shape i would say an easy nine out of ten except the front bumper has the holes from the california plate so that's the goal to fix up this year Pop the hood here for everybody. So I did have the engine cover painted because the front part, as we all know, is fairly hard to find. And the one I got was a little bit beaten up. So I just had painted it, a bunch of clear coat. And I think it looks great in black, but that's just me. And there, she runs flawlessly. No hiccups, no nothing. Goes like a scalded cat. She's quick, quick, quick. Um, this one, my real name is actually Andreas. So when we saw this, looking at it and poking around, it was actually at a dealership here in Edmonton, Canada. And I opened the hood to see who built it. And the guy's name is Andreas, which by pure fluke happens to be my name. So this car literally has my name all over it. And my wife looked at it. She's like, just give the guy the check. So I did. Um, we all know the brakes story is they're the same brakes as the SLR. This car is all original, clean title. No, nothing. It has, there goes the ding, of course, right? Oh, the only other thing wrong with it, that's broken and that's a pain in the butt. And it drives me crazy that that's busted. Original mass. She's a little dirty right now by my standards. Oh, I had to fix the dynamic seat. Right, the seat pump was melted. We've all seen that before. So I got one out of the States. And there's the interior. Okay, headlight washers. We all know the car. Right. My only real plans for this car, for this year, are to fix this front bumper. And I'm gonna change the supercharger oil in it because I'm not really worried about how old it is. About the mileage, I'm worried more about how old it is. There. Okay, there, 140,000 kilometers. 149, sorry. Original stereo. Alcantara. Wood's all in really nice shape. It's, it's real. Oh, and these buttons. Ugh, hate looking at those things, but whatever. If that's the biggest flaw, right? Like, ooh, first world problems. <laughs> back here, there's the back seat area. As you can see, it's all like new. All right. And then in the trunk, the battery minder here, because this thing basically sits all winter. I don't drive it in the winter. Uh, 
these wheels were painted when I got it. I think they were painted like a long time ago. Um, I like the way they look on it, but that's just me. So that's the car. This is my toy. This is my baby. I've always, always wanted an E55. I finally got one. I'm so stoked. I've tried to think of other cars to maybe replace it with for something different, just to change. And I can't come up with anything like under 30 grand that would give me this level of comfort, performance, reliability. Because really, except for that seat pump and the headlight ballast, the headlight ballast could go in any car, anywhere, anytime. The seat pump, well, okay, that we all know that's specific to these and other cars with that. But the suspension stays up. There's no sagging. If I park it outside and it's 35 below, yes, in a few days it'll sag a bit in the butt. But other than that, so there's the car. This is my garage I just finished. It's, uh, the floor's still got to be done. You got to have big furnaces and garages here in Canada. Speaker. Here's my fridge I'm painted to match. Those are the wheels from my wife's car. She's got an S5. That's our, quotes our winter beater. I know, back to first world problems. Oh, here, can crusher. Uh, if you go through a lot of cans, like I do, get a can crusher. Worth every penny. This is my curtain in front of embarrassing mess because you got to hide your mess. I do anyway. Got a bit of OCD there. Over here, compressor, airline, snow blower, pressure washer, my messy shelf up here, 65 inch TV, all right, surround sound, etc. Right, and back to the cabinet. So, yeah, that's my garage. And this is where our cars park in the winter. They're nice and warm, cuddled up in here. They never have snow or ice on them. It is awesome. Um, but yeah, that's that's a quick tour of my car. I use pretty much only Chemical Guys stuff on it for the 90th percentile. I just ordered some Leather Eek for it because apparently it is the best stuff you can get. I guess we'll find out when it gets here. Right? Get the... Some of that shine off the seats, see how it's a little reflective. And in the video, you can see some cracking happening in the perforated part of the seat. But literally everything, oh, the sunroof. Ah, oh, oh God, the sunroof. Okay, the sunroof doesn't work perfectly. It opens like four inches, then it stops. It goes another four inches and stops. goes another four inches and stops. Uh, I've got a guy here who's going to look at it because I just don't feel like messing with the sunroof. I'm willing to do my own, like, oh, one more thing I'm going to do. Valve cover gaskets. This valve cover gasket on the driver's side has a very slow leak. And I figure for the couple hours it'll take me. What the heck, right? And I have all the tools in the toolbox there, except the inverted Torx bit. So i got to get one of those. But other than that, I have everything to do it. I have the valve cover gaskets. Um, but the sunroof... I'm told it could be something as simple as lube, but I don't know for sure. So that's my list of stuff to do for the car for this year. And that's my baby. And there's my video. Hope it wasn't too long and boring. Don't know what to say. Oh, you might want to hear it. Sorry. Hold on. Let me just start it here real quick. Yeah. <laughs> That's after sitting for months. <laughs>